how to create a list in Aweber. Hi everyone, Siavash here, and in this episode I'm going to show you how you can create a list in your Aweber. So as you can see, I've signed it into my Aweber account. Uh, if you want to know how you can actually make an Aweber account for free, make sure that you check the video that I posted uh, last uh, last week. Uh, the link should be on top, either here or the other side of your screen. Click on that and uh, in that video, I'll show you how you can actually make a free account on Aweber in less than five minutes. All right, now I'm logged into my Aweber account and I want to actually create a new list. So you go to top right, click on list, and then you see that you have an option called create a list. I just want to give you a note in here. If you are on a free uh, subscription, then you're only able to have one list, one active list, actually one list. Uh, so as soon as you start to creating a new list, uh, Aweber asks you to upgrade to uh, a premium account, which it means most of them, I think it's around like 10 bucks per month. But uh, anyway, the process is going to be the same. So why, let's say, why do, you, why do you want to have more than one list? So basically what, what you end up uh, once you start uh, getting a leads customer, you want to maybe have different campaigns uh, or maybe you have like different products that you're selling. So for example, you have a health niche product and then you have, I don't know, like a make money product or a cryptocurrency product. So the lists are going to be different because the type of, uh, Mass, uh, the type of emails or information that you send to uh, the people that are interested in health niche or health and fitness are definitely going to be different from the type of information that you send to the people that are interested in, for example, crypto or currency or how to make money online or investment and those kind of things. Or even let's say you want to specifically have a list of people that actually buy from you. So you want to um, actually maybe uh, give them something more premium like for example you have uh, a list of customers that you want to I don't know send them uh, a free gift a free something so you want to uh, actually categorize them there are other ways uh, to do that as well like for example tagging segmentation but list is more like a clear and nicer way of doing that all right uh, enough about <laughs> the benefits of list but let's actually create one so you click on create list and it comes up, so basically it, uh, it asks you some uh, uh, typical questions. Uh, you can name name it based on your uh, name of the company, your company website. If you have uh, the most important part, as I mentioned, is your address. Uh, so what you want to, because uh, this is going to be coming in the email. So at the bottom of the email, because of the anti-spam law, should provide uh, an address actually and that address can be a PO box or a virtual address or an actual physical address so you definitely don't want to put your home address there and the reason for that is like you don't want to people actually come in knocking on our door and say okay where is that uh, free product that you uh, told me that you're going to send to me why I haven't received that yet so definitely you don't want to be there if you want to have a PO box, you can buy a PO box and put it there. PO box is cheaper than uh, actual uh, virtual address. But the thing is, uh, if you end up buying or making your uh, actually uh, registering a company, at least in Australia, uh, a company needs uh, an address, an actual address. So you can't actually register a company with a PO box. So you might at the end of the road uh, end up having like two different addresses. So I'll suggest uh, to buy a virtual address. It wouldn't be that expensive. I think it's like 10 bucks per month or something like that. And you get a lot of uh, benefits from most of them as well. Like for example, even if you, yeah, you can uh, get your email from them, they, they, they ask you if you want them to open it and they actually scan it for you, send it to you, email it to you or mail it to you, whatever you want. So it's pretty good. Then uh, the other thing is, what sender name and email they should use. So you can put whatever name that you want. So this is basically when the uh, your customer receive an email from you, this is the name that actually comes on the top. Uh, whatever you want, uh, if you wanted to have uh, your name, your or maybe your company name, or in my case, like both of them, my first name and also my company name. And you put it there. Uh, the next thing is sender email, which as it says, it's basically, uh, what is going to be the sender one. So as you see, it says, please avoid free email addresses like Gmail or hot email. 
Hotmail, which can use delivery problems. So basically, if you use one of these services, uh, because you're actually doing uh, a mass email send out like to thousands of people, if you're using like a Gmail or something like that, they're most probably gonna end up into like junk spam or like a promotion box. So what you want to do, you want to have your email, your own email address. Right? So for example, it's going to be something, I don't know, like, uh, for example, you can have something like your name at your domain.com. So what did this mean? Like, for example, or for example, you can have info at your domain.com. Like, for example, you know that you have like info or customer services at apple.com, something like that. So that means once you buy your domain, you can actually register for a, uh, an email address as well, which is going to be actually a Gmail. So Gmail provides that, but it's actually hooked up to your domain. So it is not at gmail.com, it's basically at your domain.com. So make sure that you definitely use that uh, once, uh, when you buy your domain. And then you click on next. So what we would like to name your list, this basically uh, when, whatever you put in here, it comes as the active list at the top. So you name it whatever you want, like, I don't know, like uh, my health, health and fitness fee niche for example or you can say make money online niche and then briefly you can describe it uh briefly describe the emails your subscriber are going to get so your subscriber will see description where if you click on that so if they choose to unsubscribe from your list at the late so every single email that you send by default is going to have it should have an unsubscribe link down at the bottom this is by law so aweber put it there so you can't actually remove that and once the user actually click to unsubscribe they will see that okay you will no longer receive any email from like this sender and then the description of the thing that you put in there here is going to actually be inside that page so for example uh providing information in regard to how to make money online and become financially free and live your awesome life and then tap on next step you choose your language uh so confirm your subscription so basically by default as of now every single list that you create uh the double opt-in is turned on for it on aweber what that means it means that uh once a user actually go through your funnel or whatever when you capture their email what's going to happen it's not going to be automatically subscribed to your list their status is going to be pending. So what's gonna happen is Aweber will automatically send a confirmation email to them. So they have to go and accept that confirmation. I know this is going to be really painful and it might hurt your uh, actually a conversion rate. Uh, there is a trick for that to fix it. I'm not gonna cover it in this uh, video. I can, I'll definitely cover it in another video on how to actually do that and how you can actually turn that off because if you're just starting out this is going to be uh, the way that it's going to be set up even if you approved or whatever when you go to your list settings as you can see we just created the list if you go to the list settings uh sorry uh if you go to your confirmation messages you see you can turn this off but this one it doesn't allow you to turn it off if you are just starting because uh, you don't have that many subscribers. This is one of the, uh, me, uh, th this actual account has enough subscribers and it's already been turned off. That's why I'm allowed to, uh, it allows me to turn it off. But if it's not, if it's a brand new account, you are not allowed to turn it off. And I can show it to you actually, cause I have another test account. If I sign out from this one, I can actually show it to you how it's gonna look like. So this is my another account, and if you and if I go, oops, to the list that I have, 
And if I go to confirmation message, you, you see, first of all, you need to be upgraded to uh, the pro account. And then once you're upgraded to that pro account, you it doesn't allow you to turn that off. It says that you need to contact the Aweber customer service and ask them to turn that off for you. And they're not gonna turn it off for you because uh, if, you, if you don't have enough subscribers, like basically, I think if it's less than 100 subscribers, uh, they will they will not uh, turn it off for you. So in order to get to that 100 subscribers without having this double opt-in problem, you should do. There's a, a little bit of trick that I can show you in another video, and we can go through that. Uh, you will be all set. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, uh, everyone. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, once again, please do make sure that you like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, so every time I post a new video like this, you got notified. And once again, if you want to know how you can actually make a legit business online with all of this training and also coaching, make sure that you go to richmanlife.org. Sign up there and I'll send you the information. As of now, I'll also give you a free one-on-one -on -one coaching for 30 minutes so you can ask whatever question that you have live from me and I will answer it to you. So make sure you check that out. And also I put a couple of to-do lists, like a step that you need to take right now inside the comment section, the first comment that I pinned. Please do them. And I'll hope you, I see you in the next episode. Thank you.